Hey there, everyone. Welcome to week two, day two of Daily Office. Um, as you can tell, I'm in a little bit of a different setting. I'm actually in my house, in my basement, uh, in my wife's craft room. Um, it's a good, quiet place. But uh, our shelter-in-place order won't stop us from bringing you God's Word, from, from bringing you these devotions every day. Uh, Pastor Kurt and I are going to work together, um, and we're going to piece some stuff together, and we're going to make it all work. So today for day two, uh, we're going to continue with our Lenten Bible study from N.T. Wright, and we're going to be in Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 through 16. It says, For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the workers on one denarius, he sent him into the vineyard for the day. When he went out at about nine in the morning, he saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He said to them, You also go into my vineyard, and I'll give you whatever is right. So off they went. About noon and about three, he went out again and did the same thing. Then about five, he went and found others standing around. And he said to them, Why have you been standing here all day doing nothing? Because no one hired us, they said to him. You also go to my vineyard, he told them. When the evening came, the owner of the vineyard told his foreman, Call the workers and give them their pay, starting with the last and ending with the first. When those who were hired about five came, they each received one denarius. So when the first ones came, they assumed they would get more, but they also received a denarius each. When they received it, they began to complain to the landowner. These last men put in one hour, and you made them equal to us who bore the burden of the day's work and the burning heat. He replied to one of them, Friend, I'm doing you no wrong. Didn't you agree with me on the denarius? Take what's yours and go. I want to give this last man the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with what is mine? Are you jealous because I'm generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. This is God's word for God's people. Let us all say thanks be to God. to the lake shore, looking neither for wealthy or wise ones, you only ask me to follow on, oh Lord, with your eyes you have searched me. And while smiling, you have spoken my name. Now my boat's left on the shoreline behind me. By your side, I will seek other sea. for workers. Um, we who answer, we're blessed. Uh, we're blessed if we come to work early and we get to see the great fruit of God's kingdom come day by day by day. Uh, we're blessed when we come to work in the middle and we get to pick up the chorus of those who sang before us, um, composing our harmonies to their existing melodies that they've already put in place. We're blessed if we come to work at the end. Yes, we only see an hour of the work, um, but we're still blessed. The blessing is in the wages, and more importantly, the blessing is actually in the work. So we get to see what God does. We get to build for the kingdom of God. Um, I was asked recently about what happens when we die, uh, and I replied that God remembers the whole of ourselves, uh, the thoughts, the actions, the inputs, the outputs, the emotions, um, all of our intentions, our words and our deeds. And all the, the uh, all of the synapses and the relapses and God he remembers them all he puts them together and the good news is here it's that anything that doesn't resonate with the kingdom of God um, God graciously removes and that's really pretty cool we don't have to uh, we don't have to carry that burden anymore so for that I say praise be to God but the uh, the better news is this is that all of the remaining that is uh, comprised of all that truly is right and good, all of the uh, the stuff that reflects the image of God birthed in us in the beginning, 
uh, whether we worked for God for the whole day or for only an hour, um, all the good stuff that we did is reflective in the end. And what I think is important is that we're blessed in the working because we were working for God. It's a great thing. Can you all pray with me, please? Lord, deliver me from comparisons and let me rest content in your grace. All these things we pray in your son's holy and precious name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we will see you tomorrow with uh, week two, day three of our daily office. Until then, God bless and have a great day.